Super weird. Super weird. I'm Chad Kubinoff, and today is Friday. That means it's New Food Friday, so I'm going to eat a new food today. Uh, today we're eating uh, nem chua. So this is something I'm kind of actually familiar with. Uh, I've had it in Vietnam a few times, uh, more than a few times, a lot of times. It's an interesting type of sausage from Vietnam because it's pickled and fermented. So it's it's a sour meat sausage, which is a little weird. Um, I've, to my knowledge, it's mostly served raw, which is super weird and sometimes um, uncomfortable. But I have eaten it and I have <laughs> been all right. So we continue to do it that way. Um, but it's usually made with pork skin, which is interesting. It's usually made with, you'll see it fermented a lot with whole cloves of garlic or whole chili. Uh, we can see in this one, we got a whole chili right here. So we'll see how spicy that is. And something that's very unique about nem chua is that it's made with pork skin as well. Pork meat and pork skin. Um, different, depending on what batch or where you're buying it from, it'll have different amounts of pork skin. I don't always like the ones that have high amounts of pork skin because they have an interesting texture, but uh, it's cool to try. Um, I haven't tried it in the States yet. This particular one was in the freezer section, and uh, so we're going to give it a try. It says to cook thoroughly, which is a little interesting to me. Um, sometimes I've seen uh, nem chua grilled, um, so we'll fry it up, we'll give it a taste, we'll see what it's like. Boom, let's pop this bad boy open. It smells pretty good, actually. It smells sweet. I can smell the chili. It doesn't smell that ferment fermented. It smells like um, lap sung, like Chinese sausage. Cool. Let's do it. I'm actually, I'm actually excited. It smells pretty damn good, actually. I think I lost my. There's my chili. All right, let's just fry it up. I feel like I'm smelling a cigar. It smells good. So I didn't really know if I should cook this like I would cook lap sung, like Chinese sausage, where I'd cook it in water and kind of boil it or fry it. But just how I've seen it before, where they grill it over uh, charcoal, I'm, I'm going to just fry it in a pan. And we'll just be really delicate with it. I'm probably not going to cook this chili for too long. <laughs> it smells like a hot dog. <laughs> I know it's not going to taste like a hot dog, but it kind of smells like a hot dog. All right, I got a little bit of color on the chili. Probably going to pull that out. I don't really want to fry the chili. All right, I'm going to call it. Turn that bad boy off. All right, it kind of smelled like bacon a little bit. I was just cooking. I'm sure it's just like this kind of cured pork product. You know, it's a similar aroma. It sticks a lot. A lot of sticking going on, but... You know, for the way that it sticks, I'm surprised there's not a lot of sugar in the, uh, in the mix. But let's try it. I'm a little nervous. I don't love nem chua, but we'll try it. Super weird. Super weird. Like the skin is really thick, but then the, uh, well, <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. The outside layer is really thick, but the actual pork skin that is in it is super soft and like explodes, at, explodes in your mouth. It's amazing. That part's amazing. But then there's this kind of background, background sourness that's a little weird. The pork skin is so good. Oh my God. That's the best I've had. Usually pork skin is tough. Like you can you can chew on it. It's almost like noodles in a way. 
this pork skin is so well cooked that it just like melts out like fat. That's amazing. I'm liking it more. It's still a little weird. You can taste the sourness. You don't really taste a lot of funk, but you taste sour. It's really, the meat part is really chewy. The skin part just bursts. That part's amazing. You can taste a little bit of the, the chili throughout the whole thing. That chili's not good. Oh, that chili's terrible. Oh. Oh. That chili's spicy, but the flavor's terrible. Man, that sucks. That sucks. Chili sucks. I'm not eating that. Super weird. The skin is almost like um, glass noodles, like chapche if you've had that before, like Korean glass noodle. It's soft like that, but it almost melts right away. I kind of really like it. Um, I'm trying to think what I would do with it. I can't really think of anything to do with it because it's it's really sour, all right? It's not. I'm like I'm, I'm thinking about just putting it in a hot dog bun and eating it like that. Maybe. Huh. I was curious about <clears throat> I did kind of want to just try like the fond in the pants and so much of it developed I tried to pull it off before that burnt <clears throat> a little bit of fond yo that's good that's super good. Super tasty. Really nutty. Deep flavor. Almost like caramel. A little bit sour. Not as sour as the sausage itself. This is actually super good. Whoa. Whoa. This might be the secret ingredient right here. Really good. Now to me, shoot, shoot. If I was better prepared, I would want to strain this off and deglaze it with just some water and bring it down to a sauce. Cause I think there's so much gelatin in here. I think that's why it's so hard. I'd be curious ugh, what this is like um, if I deglaze and then try to reduce it down. It would probably get really thick cause I think it's all gelatin. I think that's what that. I mean, you can imagine it's pork skin in here. That's where all the gelatin's coming from. There's so much natural gelatin in this thing. This is a winner right here. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to get some water, and I'm going to try to deglaze this thing. I'll be right back. I don't have any salt close by, but I do have fish sauce, so... We'll season it with that. It's not working out quite as I hoped. It's not melting. I'd have to get a stick blender or throw it into a blender. And then shin it. All right, so. As this stands right now, it's not exactly as I hoped it would come out. It didn't really melt, but there is something here. There's something I really like about this. I wish I had some salt close by because I, I don't really want to season it with any more fish sauce because it, it is adding too much flavor. I don't want to detract from, from what it is. Um, I'm just curious, throwing in a knob of butter, what that does. But I think if I had a little bit of, um, sh a little sugar, or if I almost turned it into like a, uh, what would I call that? 
like cooked it down almost like a jam with a lot of onion or shallot and some garlic. This could be really interesting. Really interesting. Something about this I really like. The butter's a little weird. I don't know if that was the way to go with it. It's not bad though, it's kind of interesting. It's super interesting actually. I did want to try the nem chua. I want it to cool down too. But just because at first when it was hot, they, uh, the way that that skin exploded was awesome. I loved it. But I know that when it cools down, it's going to firm up. Honestly, not bad. Not the best thing in the world. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I'm ever going to buy it again. Um, but it's definitely interesting. Worth it. Worth the taste. This this uh, pan, this fawn pan thing, is uh, pan sauce is worth exploring. I think there, there could be something there. Maybe even taking this and cutting it super, super small and cooking it and just trying to develop a fawn and, and really trying to cook it for the fawn and not necessarily the sausage itself because... Um, the fawn doesn't pick up as much sourness as the sausage has in it, and the, and the sourness to me is a little bit weird. Um, well, I guess that's it. So um, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, you can hit that subscribe button below if you want to see next week's video and every video there for after that, if that made sense. And uh, if you guys have any questions below or have any suggestions of new fruits to try, let me know in the comments below. All right, see you guys. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure you share it with all your friends. Boom.